Hey, welcome back to Once Upon a Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens, and in this episode, we are going to do an unboxing of Inferno, Gelfs and Ghibellines, Vi for Tuscany, 1259-1261. This is by Enrico Acerbi and Volko Runke. It's part of the Levy and Campaign series. This is volume three in this exceedingly popular, quickly growing series from GMT Games. Um, this is, um, this is solo suitable for one to two players, but I don't believe there's any AI with this. I believe it's true solo playing both sides to the best of your ability, but uh, we will know more when we crack it open and see what you get inside. Hey, if you're enjoying these videos, be sure to give us a like and a share. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell. One ringy dingy. All right, so it's a big box. It's a big three inch uh, deep box. Um, there's got a lot of wood playing pieces in it, so it's very, very heavy. I like the, uh, I like the artwork on this one too. It's um, kind of a watercolor, kind of impressionistic, not too detailed, but detailed all the same. Got a siege going on against a castle in Tuscany. So let's get started. First of all, you got the Levian Campaign Series Volume 3 Rules of Play booklet. This is on the newer um, glossy magazine stock from GMT. Um, hopefully, they get back to their matte finish. I guess they've run out of maybe the uh, correct paper and they're having to use this. Uh, unfortunately, it is a 32 page rule book, very full color. Like I said, it's very, it's kind of a magazine glossy stock. As you can see from the reflections we got going here on the pay, pay, paper, excuse me. Uh, if you're familiar with uh, the first two games, Nevsky or Almavorid, here's the summary of the changes that Inferno brings from those two games, uh, compare and contrast. So you can acquaint yourself based on what you already know. If you don't know anything, you skip that and go right into the rules. This is full color. Starts off outlined uh, the way GMT usually does it with uh, components uh, in detail of the counters and tokens, things like that. And then setup. Explains the cards, the rules. Yeah, it looks like we got our, yeah, and then get into your scenarios here. The rules go to page 25. And it gets to victory. And then there's your credits. And then you've got your scenarios here. So let's see, we've got one, the 1259 Dolenti Note. Uh, then you got the Infar Vendetta. It's a medium link scenario. So the first one is introductory two turns and the medium link scenario. And then we've got C. Well, this looks like we've got a lot of uh, a lot of scenarios with this. So we've got at least six here. We have more. We have six scenarios. They've got uh, key terms index in the back, and then reference to the rules section that you'll refer to. So that's good. Uh, and this is the game board setup for scenario F. F is probably the full game. Yeah, full length scenario play from the levy of February, March, 1259, box one through variable exhaustion. By the end of August, September, 1261, box 16, up to 16 turns. So there is that. And then we've got the background book. Now this is much thicker. This is 64 pages. It's very, very thick. And this is a quick start strategy. Now it does discuss how to play it solitaire. So let's take a look at that. Maybe, maybe there's a way to actually Nope. Inferno includes no solitaire system, but a single player readily can handle both sides. Set up the table as usual and alternate in the roles by the normal sequence of play. The only information that one side hides from the other will be held event cards and command plan stacks. Keeping a side's cards face down can help you ignore them while playing the other side. Alternatively, keep all of these cards face up throughout play. Doing so somewhat alters decision making, but the game will still work well. Either way, simply alternate making the best decisions that you can for each side with the information you have available. So you're basically going to true solo it, playing both sides. And then use whatever method 
works best for you. So this has then explanations, apply some more details on the rules, um, the battle mini game, how that works, and then the campaign history and design notes. Very, very nice, very full color. Got some historical depictions here, artwork. And it explains uh, some of the cards, the, uh, the event cards that can be used, ambush, betrayal zone. And we've got whatever F stands for, let's see in there. Doo, doo, doo. Oh, golf capabilities. The bottom half of the cards, things they can use. So that's your background book, 64 pages. Then we've got a sheet of stickers to go on the round uh, half cylinders that we saw. And there's uh, spares, so you get two sets of the stickers. And then we have each side gets a battle screen. I guess these are designed to set up like this, and you can do your stuff behind. But if you're playing solo, you won't need to worry about that. So again, very lovely period artwork. I don't think these are, you know, vintage. I think these are modernly done, but they're very nice and evoke the theme very well. And then we've got some player aids. Let's take them all out here. And this is the good old GMT coated card stock. Fortunately, this hasn't changed, even though the rule stock has gone backwards again. Uh, we got the Gelf. I'm probably saying that wrong. The Ghibellines. These are the Lords and Vassals charts, and there is one of those to share. And then we've got the Revolt and Treachery Summary. And Revolt Against the Gelfs, Revolt Against the Ghibellines. Roll dice, determine which revolt happens. And then we've got two of our command instruction sheets. Sequence of play, one for each player. And these are double width, fold out. cards. Explain your forces, strongholds, battle and storm, and the sequence of play of the game. So then we also have counter sheets. Let's see, that's the board. So we have the counter sheets. Looks like there's three of them. And these are the pre-rounded, uh, except for these markers for bypass feed, ruins, ravaged uh, then all of them are you know the pre-rounded these are victory point trackers siege markers and they flip for both sides one for each side purple versus yellow and then more unit markers and then finally some other Markers here for loot, coins, got some times threes to help you reduce counter need. Ships, carts, provisions, loot. Nope, times four if you flip them. Times one, times two, times three, times four. So you have to make change a lot. All right, three sheets of counters. Then we've got our mounted map. Always nice to have a mounted map. And this is only a four panel. Four panel map. Very small, doesn't it? Not gonna take up a lot of space on the table. So you got your turns, your 16 turn tracks up there with instructions for those turns and then the area of play. Kind of has the feel of an old, old world kind of map. Got the soldiers coming in at each other. And then we've got our unit boards. Now these are counter, 
counter thickness, a little bit thicker maybe, cardstock, and they're pre-punched from whatever they would be in. And these are the units, the squads that are, I don't know, the forces you're gonna use for each, each side. And it tells you again how to set them up, one cavalry, two men at arms, two militia, depending on which scenario you're using. So we've got Siena, Pisa, Count Giordano, the Agliano, Oh boy, Aldobrandino, Aldobraneschi, Count of Santa Fiore, uh, Walter von Estenberg. Looks like the Germans are getting involved. Provenzano, Salvani, Capitanius, Cap 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 excuse me, Sierra Comune, Firenze Podesta, Luca Podesta, Arezzo Podesta, Arezzo Podesta, Orvieto, Capitanius. Cole Podesta, Guido Guerra, Guidi, Capitanus, Capitanus, Capitanus Pro Ecclesia. So the church is involved here. Firenze Commune, and then our battle board, attacker defender, depending on how you play it. So they're single sided, obviously, because you're going to need them, but they're very thick, very sturdy. And then we got six dice. Three, three orange and three purple. Let's see who wins here. Oh, okay. oh, look at that, Yahtzee. So orange won big time there. So, but the dice do work. They're nice size, pre, you know, rounded corners too, so they roll a little more smooth. And then we got a bag of wooden tokens. We got our discs that we saw earlier that the stickers are for, and then various pieces of wood that mean different things, obviously. I'm not gonna take those out because there's not much to show you besides the fact that there's a bag of wooden pieces. And then we have our command decks of card cards and our arts of war for each side. So we've got the command cards and the arts of war cards, events. So the command cards here are the, or just which forces you're going to get to use. We saw those on the uh, on the unit boards. So these are what you'll draw and you'll play for whichever side or whichever forces are available. Okay, treachery, and then pass. And assuming the same thing here for the for both sides. So we won't open all of them. So we'll open the Arts of War deck. And these are the various uh, actions you can take. So you got ambush. You can hold it, play as enemy avoids, play as enemy avoids battle. See roll four, three, four. Enemy chooses one avoiding Lord to battle or withdraw instead. Or you can use the bottom half, stores and well water, gibbling seats. Each can supply up to four per vendor, even if a even to a lord besieged there. So various cards you got: Greek fire, play on a besieging lord to reduce to one siege marker and remove one of his units, and discard one of his this lord capabilities. So each side gets a deck of of these cards as well. These arts of war cards. So it's uh, each side has different you know different powers, different abilities. So, if you pick up a copy of Inferno, Gelfs and Ghibellines Vie for Tuscany from GMT Games, you're going to get the Arts of War deck and the, and the uh, Command deck for each side. You're going to get six dice, a bag of wooden cubes and markers. You're going to get the stack of battle boards for each side and the or the uh, army boards for each side and the battle and the battle board. You're gonna get that mounted four-panel game board. Three sheets of counters and markers. Two player aids, one for each player. The various charts that you need and reference cards. Two screens if you're actually in playing against another human. One sheet of stickers with an extra set of uh, stickers. 
the 64 page background book with details, more, uh, more rules explanation and details on the history that this game covers. And the 32 page rules of playbook, the rules go to about page 25 and then uh, have the different scenarios or six scenarios in here as well. And that is everything that comes in Inferno. Gilfs and Ghibellines of Ivor Tuscany, 1259, 1261 from GMT Games, Volume 3 of the Levy and Campaign series. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye. Oh!